We're going to take a look at applying a center line and profile um, ele super elevation to a left lane and a right lane with a divided median. So we're going to apply our super uh, 12 feet to the left and right of our center line. So we're going to create, first thing, I've already created a super elevation section. And I'm going to create super elevation lane, lanes now. So I'm going to locate my section. And I'm going to do the right side first. It's a primary side of the center line is right. Inside edge is 12 feet off of the center line. The width is 24 feet. And a normal crown of 2% down. So I reset right lane, primary right side of center line starting 12 feet to the right for a width of 24 with a normal crown of minus 2% and there's my super elevation I'll go ahead and do the left side we'll change a couple things here we'll say left and <clears throat> enter We're going to go primary again. Side of center line will be left, starting 12 feet off, going 24 feet total with a minus 2% cross slope. So there's our super elevation uh, lanes. Next step would be to go ahead and calculate that super elevation. So in my case, it's um, I'm using a standard SCP file, 2011, max E is 6%. Um, design speed, I will choose uh, 55, transition linear, and divided facility. So I'm going to locate my super elevation section and step through the prompts. And my super elevation has been calculated. You can see it's changed the shading. Next, I will apply the super, assign it to my corridor. I have a very simple corridor. You can see the cross section is already generated. So I'm going to go ahead and locate the section, reset to complete, locate my corridor. Now I want to assign my super elevation. So my super elevation point is my left inside edge of pavement. I'm sorry, uh, left edge of pavement and my pivot point is the left inside edge of pavement on the right side it's my right edge of pavement and pivot is right inside edge of pavement click OK now you can see it's and I'm cutting a section here at 1950 as I scroll up you can see it pivot back down to normal crown I'll go backwards to the curve again. And you can see that it's 12 feet off the center line, straight over to the inside edge of pavement, and the dimensions aren't changing. 